authentically and genuinely in. That's how you build trust and influence with your audience is being you. Be you. Don't be nobody else. Don't be what somebody else expects you to be. Be who God intended you to be. You must first spiritually align and find that purpose. I got something I wrote with my notes yesterday to remind myself because I lose this in my own walk. I lose motivation sometimes. I, I'm not encouraged all the times. I, 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 I get distracted sometimes. I, 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 I feel the pressure sometimes. I, I feel the hate sometimes. I get lost in trying to please other people sometimes. I do. I'll be vulnerable with you and tell you that. But as I circle back from following my J. Morris Academy four E strategies of evolve, excuse me, evaluate, eliminate, evolve, and execute, which I teach in the JMA. And I constantly evaluate myself and I eliminate bad people, places, things, thoughts, and habits. And then I evolve into the newer, better me each and every day. And I execute and walk that new me out. What I've realized, which I'm going to post later, what I've realized, I want to give y'all some real game tonight. What I've realized is that if someone does not like your business model, does not like your business, does not like your purpose, does not like your swag, your energy, your conversation, your narrative, that's okay. You're not doing this for them. It's not for them. If they don't like it, apparently it's not for them. But there's thousands or millions or there's other people that may like you and your narrative, your business, your model, just the way it is. It's for them. So... You don't got to get distracted and trying to win everybody over. Your business model is not for everybody. Your ideology and philosophy is not for everybody. So if they can realize they don't like it and it's not for them, all they got to do is stay away from it and go mind their business as you continue to walk in glory and walk in yours. You don't got to change your walk, your talk for no one else but for those who it's for. I follow my little brother, Derek Grace. Derek Grace uses a lot of guns, curses, uh, sexual appeal, uh, uh, nigga talk, which I don't agree with. We're working on that. Bitch talk, whatever he might use. But it's still in the spirit of higher enlightenment and involving our people. And guess what? It's not for everybody. But I watched Derek Grace save the lives and the legacies of many families by having his tattooed face, cursing out his mouth, wearing a million gold chains, and being exactly who God called him to be at this time in his life. But he's still walking in his purpose. You may not like it. It's not for you. You don't even got to criticize it. Just close your eyes, turn the other way, and go mind your own goddamn business. As he is well, minding his. As Jay Morrison is minding his. As long as your business is not the tearing down, the division, or the negative energy towards others. Listen, we don't got to like, if you don't like a rap song, you don't like a singer, you don't like their swag, their energy, their narrative, their message, all you got to do is go mind your own damn business. Now, when your business is the unity, the advancement, and the repair of our people, justice for our people, then that should reflect in all of your moves and your ways of being. Which is why, no matter... What I'm faced against, I have to still move in a way that aligns with the most high, that shows that I love my people, even though I have to reprimand or discipline my people, but I still do that with love. If there's anyone that is degrading a black man, a black woman, or a black business, now you can talk negative, you can critique, but are you doing it with love? If you're not doing that in a spirit of, 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 of progress, in the spirit of purpose, in the spirit of unity, then you are actually a hypocrite in regards to what you say you represent. So I'm saying is that we all can be us. And we all can align with the creator and the most high's goals and obstacles and purpose for our life. And when you walk and you do that as an online influencer, or online business, even if you're not the face of that business, and it's an agnostic business without a face, look at that word agnostic, in certain kind of businesses, there's not agnostic and brand related or influential driven businesses, and there's agnostic businesses and companies. Again, I teach all this in my business course. You're looking at a two time Inc. 500, excuse me. I gotta wipe my sweat, it's hot in this car, and I don't want, I'm turning the air on. Hold on, let me turn my air on real quick. I'm doing all this preaching, and I ain't got no damn air on. I'm hot. Hold on one second, y'all. All right, that'll help. 
So check it out. This online lesson. Again, free webinar this Saturday, how to build a digital business.com. I'll tell you how to build an influence. I'll tell you how to build trust with your audience. I'm giving you the game tonight and I'm going to show you how it actually can turn into profits for you. And you can be a social entrepreneur being blessed while you bless others. How dope is that? Not ancillary business. That's not what I said. Agnostic. Ancillary is something totally different than agnostic. Ancillary are the additional revenue streams to your core offer and core revenue streams. That's different. You're looking at a accomplished CEO. Two times, back-to-back years. Inc. 5000, number 588. Fastest growing companies in the country. Number 10, top educational companies in the country. Founder of the historic Tulsa Real Estate Fund. So check out Jay Morrison tonight. All businesses based off digital and online Instagram. marketing strategies to build my audience. That's why you and guys are following me today. Gonna be doing I want to give you the same game this that helped us build a relationship, also, which is basically on me Instagram being Morrison, authentic to uh, my purpose. Just giving you me, my ideologies, my philosophies, me, oh, and walking in what God told me to do for our community. On Instagram. Creating businesses Facebook, like the J. Morrison Academy has educated over 100,000. Do you know how many homeowners, multifamily owners, oh, credit out. scores went up, right. businesses funded from the J. Morrison so Academy? 